do also see a lot of uh, types of skin cancers in our practice. Uh, the statistics show, in fact, that uh, one in five or one in six Canadians in their lifetime will develop a form of a skin cancer. What we frequently see is, uh, number one, actinic keratosis, which are precancerous type of spots, and they're usually rough red uh, uh, little areas that we see typically in a sun-exposed area, such as the face, uh, the hands, most classically. Uh, and the reason we care about them and we want to diagnose and treat them is that they can progress to become full-blown uh, thick skin cancers, which can potentially progress. Uh, other type of skin cancer we see uh, is called basal cell skin cancer. Uh, so usually we see a spot typically on the face, can also be on the chest, on the hands, uh, that just persists. It's a, usually uh, almost looks like a pimple that doesn't heal, bleeds, often quite some, for such a long time, and it can really grow and uh, become uh, locally invasive. So we want to diagnose and treat it appropriately. Uh, we also do see a lot of uh, forms of skin cancer called squamous cell carcinoma, and the actinic keratosis lesion is as a precursor to the squamous cell carcinoma. Uh, and then finally, the uh, the big one uh, that's not to be missed is uh, melanoma. So melanoma uh, is a potentially deadly form of skin cancer. Uh, and uh, when we counsel patients uh, about melanoma, we often talk about moles and the A, B, C, D, E's of uh, melanoma. So asymmetric moles are more concerning for melanoma and should pay more attention to them. Uh, B, so borders, so moles with a regular jagged border, again, are more of concern. Color, that's an important one that the mole so the mole that has different colors within the same mole so be dark brown light brown uh, again it's more of a feature of concern within a mole uh, diameter so usually the moles uh, large ones more than six millimeter uh, something to be mindful of and again one of the concern signs and finally e evolution changing moles that's another uh, Im important characteristics of potentially mole developing into melanoma and we should pay close attention to that